Hi guys. I really didn't want to make this video. I'm still covered in soot from the battle, but I just wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. I know a lot of people are upset right now. I know a lot of people are confused, but I owe an apology to two people. Varys and Tyrion. I'm sorry. I met Varys when I was very new to the industry of ruling kingdoms and right away he took on a parental role for me because he knew that my father had been killed after he went mad and started burning everybody. Over the last couple of years, Varys has given me so much guidance and advice and information about my enemy's exploitable weaknesses and it I I am so disappointed in myself that I ruined a relationship that did mean so much to me by burning him alive with fire from my dragon and what sucks the most is knowing that there's nothing I can say or do that's ever going to rebuild that friendship and that trust because he is a large pile of ash now. Most of my reign has been about me making mistakes and burning people at stakes. I try every day to learn and to grow and I can be the bigger person and admit that I'm not perfect and I am so sorry to everyone that I've disappointed or incinerated in regards to the Jon Snow situation and his claim to the throne. I've already told my truth about this twice and will it affect the future of our collab channel? Probably. And I'm not going to sit here and say that it wasn't hurtful after I promoted his dragon glass and I introduced him to advisors and I sacrificed countless blood riders to help him against the Night King. You all know me and you know my heart and you know that I'm the rightful heir to the throne. Instead of going into detail and pulling receipts, I, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is the feelings and I feel that I am the queen and there will always be people who don't believe me and um, and that's okay. I will take back what is mine with fire and blood. In regards to the Cersei situation, I have learned the hard way about trusting people and what armies to engage with and how to approach them. This is something that I should have been more careful of. And, you know, funnily enough, my friend Missande she is one of the people who sat me down and told me, you know, this Iron Fleet, it's, it's going to get you in trouble someday. <laughs> and she was right. And now she's been decapitated. In regards to Drogon, I know that you want to defend me and you want to go off in the comments on my Instagram and <laughs> immolate everybody in King's Landing, but I ask that you please don't. This is my responsibility. And I have to handle this on my own. Drogon, I want you to know that you are one of my last dragons. For Tyrion and Varys, who are both wonderful people. I mean, was a wonderful person in the case of Varys. Um, a lot of times in the past when I've had to apologize, I have tried to make excuses and pull receipts and walk naked out of a raging fire in a display of my own indestructibility, but this time I, I, I'm I, done. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I take full responsibility. I wish I could say that this is the last time I'll make a mistake, but I know that it's not. In all likelihood, I'm going to burn Tyrion tomorrow for his treasonous assistance to his brother, the Kingslayer, but I want to thank you all for 
being patient as I learn and grow, at least the ones of you who are still alive. If by some miracle you do forgive me and would like to continue this journey with me, you may follow all of my socials down in the description box. And don't forget to ring the bell. You know what weather it isn't today? It isn't wig or sweatshirt weather. This is not a roast of James Charles. If anything, it's a roast of King's Landing. This video was actually inspired by uh, this funny comment that, I'll put it somewhere, that somebody made on one of my tweets. So shout out to you and uh, yeah, quick little video. I hope you liked it. That was, that was the worst sign off ever.